Hey everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Take number 23 or 24, I don't know. The dogs bark, cars go by. You know how it is. Anyway, I have something really cool planned for this episode. It's an episode that I don't think you're going to want to miss. You've probably seen, if you're familiar with my webpage, if you're familiar with Empty Pockets Ironworks or just the YouTube channel itself, me and my garb with the helmet with the horns. Well, that's this bad boy right here. And when I did it, it was just an experiment. In fact, the faceplate template that I used for it no longer exists. And now I've got an order for one, or one similar. I have creative freedom. Somebody's ordering one as a Christmas present, and so now I've got to get it done. Uh, like I said, this one is unique, this one is mine. I purchased some horns. These were from eBay. And pretty nice little set. They've got some carved leaves in them. Really cool. We're going to utilize those on the, on the helmet, either upright or forward or whatever I choose. Also, like I mentioned, the faceplate template no longer exists. So that's where this comes in. I have been working on designing new faceplates. And this is going to be available via Empty Pockets Ironworks, either Facebook or YouTube. We're still working that out, but the templates are coming. And uh, this one will be a full build. It'll have the helmet, um, a staff, I've got the beaver cut wood and everything already. So this is going to be a, probably a fairly lengthy video, if not more than one part. Either way, it has to be done because it's a Christmas order, so expect the finale real soon, either in this video or in one very, very soon. Uh, Weight-wise, when I built that one, I built it out of eighth inch by inch and a half strap, <laughs> 14 gauge, it's got some 3 8 inch uh, rod hidden in there. And then of course the horns, they're hollow, but they do have wood blocks on the inside with bolts that helps hold them to the frame structure itself. So to try to save weight, because it is wearable, um, I bought a sheet of 16 gauge. 16 gauge should be in the realm of what I like to do as far as shaping. Uh, obviously it's not that much different than 14 gauge, but it should weigh quite a bit less overall. And I also am going to replace the one and one half inch strap with some uh, one inch strap, eighth inch. And then let's see what else. Uh, this has got the rivets are actually made out of carriage bolts. I'm going to change that design up probably. So either way, should be a really fun build. It's going to look similar to that, but totally different. And uh, yeah, I'm making it up as I go along other than the template. So should be a really cool build. Subscribe if you haven't already or at least please consider subscribing. Uh, I would really 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 appreciate a thumbs up. It helps me out and uh, if you find this video interesting please share. Sharing is caring and uh, you know only people that share are groovy so remember that. Either way should be cool and uh, I'll show some pictures and stuff uh, later on of, of the helmet and me wearing everything if you haven't seen it already it's pretty cool uh, yeah should be fun let's get started
All right, everybody. I think the new skull faceplate template was a huge success. It was a lot easier to work with than iterations of it that I've had in the past. Uh, I will do some modification to the drawing itself. Not so much for the drawing, but just in the instructions, stating that the little upper mandible piece that comes around, that's mainly for different applications. For a skull, you don't want anything protruding inward or should I say a skull helmet. Anything that can potentially harm the individual that's wearing it. So for this, I actually ground those off. But they did prove to work, they shaped nicely, and I actually left them on during the forging process, which you've seen, so that it helped shape the upper mandible and face part. So yes, uh, very happy with that. I, very, I feel very confident in putting that out there. Um, now, what I'll do is, you guys won't necessarily see it right off the bat, but as I make templates and then I actually perform the part, um, I will then do another video on that that will be a companion to the templates that you buy. And it will be a lot more in depth. It will explain practically every hammer blow that I achieve to achieve the shape and design that I'm going for and basically just give you a step-by-step -step instruction to achieve that from that. So anyway, real happy with that. And uh, this build is going very well. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, next will be the head ring. And uh, then we'll do the upper part and then the, the strap that goes over the front with the nose piece. And uh, then we'll work on plating and and maybe sort out the horns later on today. So like I said, this is going to be a long video, so sit tight and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. 